technologies that we use uh, on a daily basis uh, in medical imaging improve healthcare um, because we can quantify those preclinical alterations and maybe improve the prevention of those diseases. Through these new developments like molecular imaging and quantification in imaging, we can uh, uh, additionally now uh, move towards uh, what we call personalized medicine. So we can give an information on the localization of the disease, but also on the very personal uh, uh, nature of uh, the uh, changes that occur in an individual. It's a partnership of the European Commission, the member states, the other relevant stakeholders, the industry, the medical professionals, the non-governmental organizations, in order to find solutions to the demographic challenge that our social and health care systems are facing, utilizing new approaches, innovation in technologies, but also social innovation, and sharing best practice and working together in order to improve the framework conditions in Europe for innovation and for better living for our older citizens. First of all, we should say about the European Innovation Partnership is that it underlines the triple win. Uh, advantages, benefits for the individual, empowerment of the citizen. Secondly, the sustainability of the health and care systems. And finally, an active and innovative economy. All the technology is is an enabler to bring relief, better care at a lower cost to those who suffer from chronic uh, disease. Healthcare industry should learn from other industries like the telecommunications industry, uh, the banking finance industry, etc. The biggest growth area at the moment is actually in wireless, uh, wireless health within hospitals, connecting all the many signals within a hospital, for example, to bring something to a patient's bedside where you've got all of the blood tests, etc., all in a handheld device. That's currently uh, the most uh, exciting area of M Health in Europe. What's the most important thing that we should do to secure sustainability? It's looking at the balance between care that's provided in hospitals and care that's provided in a a community uh, setting or settings outside hospitals. We need to find ways to continue to generate the ability to afford the new things that everybody wants health systems to deliver. Um, and one of the ways, in fact probably the only way in which we're going to be able to do that is to adjust this balance between hospital-based and community care.